Now the word repurposed is a buzzword these days for good reason. We repurpose our recycled materials, our furniture, et cetera, et cetera. Everything has more than one purpose anymore because it's very green, it's very efficient. And that's great. Got me thinking though, I've spent time to build a vocabulary of many concepts and ideas. So why can't I just take those and repurpose them for other things that I wanna play? That's what we're talking about this week. And in the improv, you saw me play a lick like this. F sharp minor, I'm gonna teach you that like note for note, but again, I was thinking, well, why can't I take that and just use it maybe instead of like a solo idea, I'll use it for a melodic idea. So I did that as well. And it works very effectively. And this is the kind of thinking that we need to have to grow our vocabulary exponentially. It's not about this lick is for this purpose and this melodic idea is for this specific purpose anymore. Everything should be very variable. We should be able to use everything in a very repurposed kind of way. So that's what we're getting into this week at riffoftheweek.com. 99 cents a week gets you this and everything else. Of course, and if you missed my post from the beginning of the week, my new guitar education website is finally ready to go. First Wednesday of June is when it's going to launch. Riff of the Week as a series is getting a new name. Why? Because Riff of the Week is actually misleading. It's not what I teach. It's very narrow, so it's getting a new name, but the entire series will be a feature on that new site. More details to come. It is awesome. For now, I'll see you over at riffoftheweek.com.